Hello and welcome to Wake Up America. It's increasingly clear that so-called free trade agreements are no longer about trade. They are now global governance agreements that usurp our constitution and undermine the power of our elected officials. One of the most disturbing aspects of these agreements is that it is not just foreign interests attempting to affect our laws through free trade agreements, but our own companies as well. Up next is a look into the Trans-Pacific Trade Agreement and how it will destroy our patent system. U.S.-based multinationals who now have no allegiance to the United States at all are attempting to shape these agreements in ways that will allow them to circumvent laws set by our Congress. This is not the way our democracy was meant to work. It is a perversion of the original vision of our founding fathers. One of the biggest problem areas in the proposed Trans-Pacific Partnership is patent protection. The pharmaceutical industry is pushing hard to overhaul our patent system for their own benefit and at our expense. These companies want long monopoly periods for expensive drugs, like those used in cancer treatments that can cost upwards of $100,000. The United States Congress has indicated they would like to limit these monopoly periods to ensure Americans have access to affordable treatments but they will be handcuffing themselves if they continue to support the TPP. The pharmaceutical companies have a seat at the table and are pushing for monopoly protections and any future action by U.S. lawmakers would open up the United States to lawsuits in international tribunals. This is only one industry attempting to get a sweet deal out of the TPP and they are attempting to make money any way they can often at the expense of average Americans. Agreements like the TPP are pursued purely for their benefit. Most Americans are hurt by these agreements, which allow millionaires and billionaires who outsource their manufacturing to cheap labor countries to get even richer. Americans need to wake up and see their lawmakers are either ill-intentioned or foolish. Either way, any member of Congress who votes for an agreement like this that would hurt American citizens need to lose their jobs. As we approach the midterm elections, it is important to ask candidates what their position on these important global governance agreements is. Any candidate who supports them should be denied office for the good of the country. It is really that simple.